Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up W3 Total Cache plugin with WPLMS. So here I have a live site with the demo3 installed as you can see. So to install the W3 Total Cache plugin, we will go to the WP Admin panel, plugins section and here we'll install the w3 total cache plugin and activate the plugin so after activation we can see the performance section in our wp admin panel in the performance section we will go to the general settings and here we'll enable page cache minification and i would not recommend database caching unless you have memcache or e accelerator or other advanced caching mechanisms enabled in your server similarly i would not recommend object caching because of the same reason so we'll enable the browser cache you can enable CDN if you are using a CDN and then we'll save the settings so after saving the settings we go to the page cache section here we need to make sure that the caching is not enabled for logged in users. Similarly, you can enable all the roles. Then we come to minify. Since minification errors have been removed, we do not need to check this. So here we will enable HTML minification, inline CSS minification and JavaScript minification. And then we'll save all the settings. Next is browser caching. So here we will set the expires header, a cache control header. and then we'll save all the settings so once you have saved all the settings we will empty the page cache and now we'll copy the url and open it So the first page load after the caching has been enabled will be slow because this time the W3 total cache plugin is building all the caches and if we simply view the source of this page you can see that all the CSS files have been minified into one big CSS file similarly all the JavaScript files have been minified into one big JavaScript file. and the javascript files are enabled in the footer as well as in the header so this was our score previous to the w3 total cache enabling now if we retest
So now after activating W3 total cash and enabling the settings, I have also enabled Photon, the WordPress CDN. After enabling the Jetpack plugin, we need to clear the cache and after that performing a retest of the same page gave us a page speed score of 95 plus as you can see. So that's it from WPLMS updates. Thanks for watching.